are going live. Hey, guess what? You're welcome to a show. Here it is. Oh, hey, what's going on? It's just me, me, my friend, Han Banan. How you doing, Han? It's just that. We're just oh hanging my God, out. I love it. Just love it. Tell me I'm when you see it. I'm looking for the notification that you're live. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, I, I can't it. believe it. I can't believe it. I can release your video order here. I don't want you to release anything. Stop releasing stuff. Oh my God, guys. Okay, um, I want to start this. Um, anyone watching, whoever's watching, if you're watching in the future, guess what? Thanks for watching. If you don't want to watch, I'm going to start the show with this. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. It's that easy. Or unsubscribe to me. I only say this because somebody in the comedy field, I don't want to bring up anybody's names because it was probably just, you know how people just get frustrated from seeing stuff pop up on people's Facebooks all the time. You know what I mean? Gibby gab gab. Oh, uh -huh. um, on tonight, we're going to be talking some gossip too. Um, well, apparently this comedian said, um, I will quote what it is because Did I- you piss somebody off, Nicholas? No, I don't care if this person will know. I'm just trying to get this person's perspective because um, this is just how I took it. And I, I really like this person. I'm actually like pretty good friends with this person. Um, and so this person said, <clears throat> this person said, I'm sorry y'all, but virtual talent shows, open mics and birthday parties are fucking stupid. Take a chance or wait till next year, but quit filling my feeds with these shitty and glitched filled events. Okay. So, and I know I pop up on this person's feed like all the time. I I'm not saying- Here's to that person. That they're, that I'm not saying that this person's talking about me, um, but I, I just don't see how people are getting mad about people who are trying to continue pursuing their art. I know what's funny to me is like, <laughs> like I, <laughs> Uh, somebody did that to me in the beginning when we were doing it was before we were doing the row shows yeah. it was something else somebody i posted one of your show pictures and somebody dm'd me a stranger i think yeah. i think a houston comedian like not even dfw yeah, yeah. dm'd me and was like you're ruining comedy and i was like girl if four little bitty dfw bored ass comedians yeah are ruining comedy then comedy doesn't stay a chance then comedies yeah and the thing is the thing is yeah. is, is right now it's a weird time nobody knows how to do comedy um, i don't know if you know this but all these people that are like well just go out and do it somewhere risk it this is um from another one of my facebook friends today i took pictures because bitch i am prepared um but one of my friends said um hold on let me find it real quick you guys are gonna love it it's shows are getting shut down all the time right now any kind of show oh, uh, yeah specifically theater um one of my friends has a son who i've performed in in a couple shows before and he's had three shows this was just an hour ago so this people <laughs> um he's had three big shows that he's auditioned for and put in the work for but they have been canceled yeah because of COVID, because of people not taking it seriously. And it's like all these people right. are like, I hate talking about this topic. It's the, the most annoying fucking topic to talk about to me because people just want the world. We're still not at a hundred percent on anything, like even opening stores fully. So right. why do you think that you should be able to just go out and like, even if you don't catch COVID, it's still not a good practice and who are you to judge what my practice of like wanting to be safe is? You can judge it, yeah. but I mean, like if you're being ignorant and being the risk, then I can't see how you don't, you can't see my point as well. If you're that extreme, right. how can you not see what my side is? It's just right. crazy. And it's just all of this isn't, I don't care how many people are watching. Cool. If you're watching, I love you. Fucking thank you. Um, but if you're yeah. not watching, cool. I'm doing this so I can better myself, homie. Right. This is purely personally. selfish. It is like, totally we don't selfish. It is cool. <laughs> um, it's it's really cool if people like it. But uh, if you do like it, be sure to go um, Venmo, Mr. Nick Hawk. <laughs> Always, every time. Did we mention that we're poor now? Yes, we're all poor. Speak of like, and that's another thing. Everybody's trying to get through this the only the way that they know how and feel the most comfortable with. So, like, shame on anyone for telling you like, oh no, like that's stupid for not. You shouldn't do that. It almost pissed me off today. I told my fiance, I was like, I almost switched my mood up because of that comment. And I'm I, glad you mentioned it though, because it's, yeah. I just love, like, I just love, okay, so scroll. Yes. Like, easy, how, bitch, what did on. I do 
to just really piss in your Cheerios. It's wild. Sir. It is wild. It's, it is, there's so many people I disagree with, but I don't jump on and it would waste, my whole day would be filled with yelling at people. If I, I mean, yeah. Case. I think anybody's like that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we'll touch on more. Uh, that's the only thing I want to get out of the way at the beginning, but honestly, welcome. <laughs> honestly. I, I didn't even say fruit fly any, uh, don't bother me. This is our show. This is our fifth show. We're getting used to it. We each, we have def- decided what the workout of the show is going to be is I pick a topic that's most searched from the weekend. She picks a topic. It's easier that way. So we each cover our own topic in a way, but we can s- have a genuine surprised reaction when mm-hmm. the person is describing what's going on. Yeah. Kudos yeah. for that one. <laughs> yeah. Cause he picked his topic and I have no idea what it's about so i just decided i'm gonna, oh, gonna, going it up. I'm gonna let him tell me real life and y'all are gonna watch it no yeah and i'm going to um since i just went into like the biggest spiel in uh the second soapbox of wearing a fucking mask um i'm gonna let you hannah go in and you are going to um describe what you what was your pick for the week okay so i was looking at twitter when i uh, this is how i pick my things i always look at oh twitter and be first. sure to uh sorry be sure to comment down below guys um, oh, this is another thing, the glitchy shows. I'm sorry I had to interrupt someone who's not the same room as me, you dick. It's hard, okay? It's a challenge. Um, anyway, Rude. Yeah, interact with us. I'll be interacting with you while she's talking and vice versa. Yeah, we read the comments. So we love it. Lay them on us. Um, okay, so whenever I pick my topic for the week, I first look at what's trending on Twitter because that's, you know, the hot, hot goss, right? So I went to Twitter and Sex and the City was trending. And I was like, what are we like in 2006? Like, why? So I started to look into it. And apparently they're talking about a possible reboot, like a mini series. Yeah. Not another movie, but like they're another. Always into these fucking mini series. They love mini series. Right. Well, Netflix, every, it's all easy. So why not? They're all bored. They're all feeling nostalgic. I get it. Why not? However, the character who plays Samantha, whom I feel carries the show because, duh, I mean, she's Samantha's queen. So I didn't even know, but there was like major drama that happened between Samantha and the other cast members. Her name is Kim Cattrall. Yep. And there was, there's been drama for like over a decade there's been shit going on between Kim and like Sarah Jessica Parker and all this other stuff. And so she already said a long time ago when they were talking about a movie three, she was like, Mm -hmm. absolutely not. This is dead. Quit beating a dead horse. No pun intended, Sarah Jessica Parker. (laughs) Oh, look at that face. (laughs) Don't be mean. And she um, said, I'm out. I this is dumb we need to quit doing this and so then they just kind of ended well now that they're talking about doing a miniseries everybody's like Kim are you in and of course she's not she doesn't she's like standing him. by it she doesn't okay the thing is is she has it every anytime that they were on set it's kind of like the um Camila Cabello thing with Fifth Harmony she was always in interviews she was always the one who just seemed like she didn't belong in the group because everyone else was just interacting um, that's yeah. which I think how it was probably in this situation is she probably couldn't, uh, Kim could probably couldn't relate to them as easily. Well, in interviews, people were constantly like, are you guys best friends? And every single time Kim was like, no, we're actresses. They are not my friends. Yeah. And then the one that the jaw dropper for me was in t- 2018. Um, Kim's m- brother died suddenly. Yeah. And so Sarah Jessica Parker, like, I guess, tweeted, she sent her condolences, but it was online. It was public. I don't know if it was yeah. on Instagram or on Twitter, but Kim, like complete backlash. She was pissed. She Instagrammed and said, my mom asked me today, when will that Sarah Jessica Parker, the hypocrite, leave you alone? Your <laughs> continuous reaching out is a painful reminder of how cruel you really were then and now. Let me make it very clear. If I haven't already, you are not family. You are not my friend. So I'm writing to tell you one last time to stop exploiting our tragedy in order to restore your nice girl persona. Oh my God. I mean, 
Yeah, that's dish. That's I, just, I mean, I'm here for it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like those fake bitches. And if they're all like climbing up on me because they have to feel they feel obligated to make a statement because somebody in my family died, I'd be pissed. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it's just, yeah, it's just fake in general. But um, that's kind of just how Hollywood is. So um Right. And especially at this point, I can't imagine. I feel like I do feel like right now in Hollywood, like people, whatever is being made, I feel like there's a lot of heart going into it because these people are, are like, everyone's in such a vulnerable place that it's, no one's really doing it. They're doing it out of just the safetyness of having a job. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and th so those people are very thankful to be doing something because, you know, TV and movies were shut down for so long. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so everybody's rekindling that feud because they're talking about how it's 2021 and yeah. they're trying to get together again. But Kim uh, automatically was like, no, absolutely not. You're going to have to do this without me. And but then the writers came out and said, we could do it without you. Yeah. Do you think they're going to kill her? Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll just say that she's sucking dick in another country. You know what well, I mean? Be, well, that is possible, but they could all, you know, she had cancer in one of the seasons. Or maybe, they, I mean, they could kill her. But can they still use, like, even a picture of her if she doesn't sign up? That's they what could, I'm always... Because it's not her property. It's the, it's the network's property. Yeah, but what if that, what is the picture? How is... You know, oh, well, it would have to be from the show. It would have to be already taken. She's yeah, not yeah. going to give him anything new. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Truth, truth. I don't know. That'd be weird. I don't know. Comment below. What do you think? Can we do the show without Samantha? Or are they going to kill her? Are they going to what just this? make her be hoeing around in Dubai again? What's the, what, what do you think? I, I think <laughs> it's tragic and they shouldn't keep going. We got our two movies. They're good. Now be yeah. done. Put it to rest. But it's a rest. I see that. Okay, now we're gonna talk about something real. Like, I didn't. I don't think you know about this one. Your turn. I have no idea what you're talking. You about. have no idea. This None. is this is like watching. Um. Ooh, oh my god! I can't even describe. I'm just gonna get into it. Okay. Okay. Um, for anybody who knows, um, Azalea Banks, Azalea Banks, uh, Azalea Banks. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's how you say your name i'm not 100 percent certain if i say it wrong i'm really sorry someone correct me um azalea banks is notorious in the uh rap community and um in hip-hop she's very well known i would say an indie artist i wouldn't say that she was like super well known she doesn't have any like bangers out there um but she is just uh someone who is uh all over social media always saying stuff about other people she has had just in two years alone, she's had seven public uh, celebrity feuds with other celebrities. Love that. Wild. She's wild. She doesn't give a fuck. Um, she had one with Rih uh, with Rihanna. Um, she had one with Nicki Minaj uh, over exchanges uh, they on social media of insulting each other. Um, Iggy Azalea basically just saying that she doesn't write her own stuff and that she's like irrelevant, which Iggy Azalea is great get over it yeah i'm gonna be honest i love it kendrick Indeed. lamar which is like really in the rap community kendrick lamar is like a fucking saint so get over yeah. it beyonce what why are you even coming for me how do you feud with queen someone who just seems so nice and like even when they don't have to be nice because they are the shit she's it's just i just don't see how celebrities like this are so like evil anyways cardi b she is probably the one she's had the most famous one with. i mean let's be honest cardi b fights with a brick yeah, she did. And it, it she got really insulted because Cardi B deleted her from Instagram. So really awkward. Um oh, and then no. Zayn, Zayn Malik from One Direction. I'm sorry. That's like, like a different world. Like no, it is. It doesn't make you any don't sense. Sit on the same lunch table. But she she just she is one of those artists who I feel like is always in uh the news just because of her causing drama with other people. I don't think it's anything really that has to do with her talent or her worth because she's not really it's always has somebody else's name dragged in it. It's never just her by herself, except for this one. Mm. Okay. This one is hers. Okay. Is hers. There's she's not I'm ready anybody in this post. Um this week she is in the media because um, I'm going to read the headline first. 
Azalea Banks appeared to boil dead cat remains in a disturbing Instagram post. Okay, now what happened was she had buried a cat. Um, she posted this video. Didn't we learn if I'm sorry, Nick, before you tell us exactly what she did, like the second thing that we learned in 2020 is that you don't fuck with cats. Exactly. That's that was like before shit went crazy. Maybe all this shit has clouded her mind. Um, it's wild. But uh, she, early Tuesday morning was when this appeared on uh, Instagram, um, and she was she dug up her own her old cat that she I guess it died recently in her backyard just dug it up and boiled it um I don't think there was any intentions of her eating it it was just is she a witch yeah well it okay so it started on Instagram and it moved its way over to Twitter after uh people started recording it on their phones like screen recording it oh um, my god and did then she delete it yeah, and then she, no, they, she began uh, trending on like the platforms. Um, and then an insider reached out to Banks' team, uh, I guess, and like had told her about it. <laughs> because I don't know if she was like really one, I don't know if she was really paying attention, but someone reached out to them and got a comment from them and asked them what was going on in the video. And um, as, as well as Instagram to confirm whether uh, Banks deleted it, they wanted to know if she had taken it down or not. I guess it was like a pretty rapid couple hours situation pretty fast mm -hmm. um, and, and it's it's really really and, and there's videos all over um and there's people who posted on their twitter and are like azalea banks dug up her dead cat and cooked it i have no words for 2021 this is not the year just um it's a oh my god it's it's like a, a sitcom where two people are going in opposite directions into their own like uh, apartments and it says me checking to see why Azalea Banks is trending. And it's like, they just come out into the hallway and look out. Um, yeah, just a lot of, it's 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 insane. And then there's one where a ba Azalea Banks, when she gets hungry and it's a picture of someone who has spatulas and they're squeezing a cat's face. <laughs> like, and it's not- Oh my God. Just, just like stupid stuff. <laughs> um, I just don't understand. That is the most messed up thing I've heard. And like what? why what was the point of you even boiling but like, but then was... okay but then like you're also making the decision to put that on the internet yes exactly like do it in private <laughs> i just i just don't have time i just don't have time Hung girl is unstable it is you're she gonna have to link her instagram down below so that we can well, uh, yeah Azalea Banks. i'll send it to you uh privately too um it's wild people are crazy i just don't understand why people can't just like not lose their fucking minds not lose their goddamn minds you know i'm telling you quarantine's been doing some weird shit to people mentally it really has it really and it's and i can't like uh fault anyone for that because i mean everyone deals with uh this is a shocking thing this like shook our world i know we're gonna keep talking about it until you guys fucking understand uh but it shook our world to the point where like it changed a big attribute on like where we could go what time we right. need to get places like it changed a lot of everyday like luxuries that we had so yeah it's not going to be easy to adjust to but there is there are healthy ways to adjust to something in non-healthy ways and i feel like this is a one-of-a-kind situation so no one can really point which one's right or which one's wrong kind of like right. religion, you know what i mean what are you talking about real you're talking about a cult? Like religion. I'm sorry. I want to, I'm not a very, uh, I'm not a very uh, religious person, but I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in putting good into the world, doing good for other people, just putting in like good energy to the universe. Um, I don't think anyone knows enough about any religion to be like, yep, that's the right one. That's it. Right. You know what I mean? I just don't, and I, I just don't feel like there's enough um, material out there, even if, you know, there's just so many things that have happened through the religious cycles of life yeah. it's a non it's a never-ending story I yep. love but um yeah i just think people need to mind their own business you can state your opinion but when it comes malicious and when it comes from a place of like you can have an opinion of not liking something but if you like you just don't also have to be a part of it or like you don't have to subscribe to anything that you don't want to subscribe to this is your just scroll life. oh just keep scrolling. Scroll, don't troll. 
Scroll on troll. Listen, I love it. Listen, I need, okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I have the hardest time not baiting with these stupid Republican trolls. I know, I know, I know, I know. I have the hardest time. I can't help it. They say some dumb ass shit and I'm just like, listen, that's not how democracy works. And then that's I just kind of- That's not how any of that works. <laughs> that's not how any of this works. And a lot of times um, I just get a little too current away. Uh, I will tell you that I've had to like text my dad apologies, but we're good. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. He loves me and understands me. I think as a person, I'm just like super uh, compassionate. So when I see yeah. that there's somebody who needs to be fought for, then I want to fight for them. And it's no, I see really that. hard for me to see that globally every day. Also, yeah. I posted the other day uh, on my Facebook, can we just like not witness history being made every day? Can every we day. That? Can that yeah. end? You know what, when I was in elementary school, that's funny that you bring it up because I remember reading like history books in elementary school and being like, oh my God, all this stuff kind of happened a really long time ago. And maybe I was just being naive and wasn't realizing what was happening like in the moments that were actually history being made in those moments. But I feel like a lot more tragic things have happened since like early 2000 to now. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Like it, yeah. it like started with Columbine. Like I will never forget uh the i'll never forget the missing uh girl amber in yeah. texas which is why we call him amber alerts amber now Alert, i'll yeah. never forget that i'll yeah. never forget columbine i'll never forget 9 11 i'll never columbine, forget they shut all, all of these they things. shut down your school for columbine didn't they they shut down ours they pulled everybody oh up. we are we were in the same district weren't we yeah they pulled us out for ours but it was um i think it was like a parent's choice that's kind of what it was for us too on um, Columbine yeah. and 9-11. They both, um, no, yeah. and Same. I didn't understand. I mean, I was in junior high. I was like, what's the big deal? I'm not in New York. I didn't understand. <laughs> I know, I know. And, and my stepmom <laughs> pulled me out and was like, of course we got you. Cause we didn't know what was going to happen for the rest of the day. We, you know, we have a world trade center in Dallas. Like we don't yeah. know. And so I I, as an adult, it makes more sense. But when I was in junior high, I was like, I, I'm not there. I don't get it. No, and yeah. then, like, I don't know. It's just been never ending. People get irrational. People get irrational fears after, like, I, I know my mom did. She pulled us out of school uh, when Columbine happened. And she's like, or when uh, it was 9-11. And she's like, well, they, you just don't know where they're attacking next. Such an irrational. Right. Thing. Like, they're going to, like, they're going to attack West Junior High School. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, no. Right. <laughs> I said that. I was like, I think I'm fine at Apollo Junior High, Mom. <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like nothing, I don't think they're going to. What's the likelihood they pick this school? You know what I mean? There's so many. There's, I know. Oh, Tom man. is interacting politically on our Who comments. is? I'm just going to ha ha because we're not going to fight, Tom, but Loki. Oh, my God, like, Tom. Jesus Christ. Tom is the only person. I ha ha it. It's fine. It does we matter until on. Republicans kill them. Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Tom's gonna... Facebook has been really funny lately, I will tell you. Tom is, yeah, Tom is getting better. Tom, you are getting better. You just got to. You are. You got to figure out what works for you in comedy and like really nurture that. And then you can like, you can leap into other things. Yeah. I think so. Aw, <laughs> little smiley face. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I want to talk about these. This one thing, because I already talked about the drama earlier. I just love drama. Okay. Here for it. Okay. This is a sign at Hooters. Okay. I don't know if you've seen this on social media. Okay. Um, someone posted like, how freaking awesome is this? And then they tagged a post that Hooters did. Hooters has a sign in their restaurant. I don't know if this is uh, just in this one place or wherever, but it says Hooters. I'm going to read you the whole thing has an owl with the hooter eyes and it says, are you on a date that isn't going well? Is your Tinder or plenty of fish date not who they said they were on their profile? Do you feel unsafe or even just a bit weird? We're here to help. You go to the bar and order an angel shot, okay? If you want their assistance. Now, if you order an angel shot meat, your bartender will escort you to your vehicle, okay? 
if you order an angel, which is kind of weird, he just immediately leaves. <laughs> it's kind of suspicious, you know? Um, angel shot with ice, your bartender will call an Uber or Lyft for you. But then you have to sit there and wait away from that person. Well, yeah, I'm assuming they would join back and then just wait for the car. Yeah. Act like everything's fine. Um, or you could do an angel shot with lime, which uh, your bartender will call the police. Okay. Now it says, we're here to handle things discreetly and without a lot of fuss. We've been there and we want you to know that when you're in good hands because it's an all woman establishment. I get that. The thing that I don't understand is what would any woman in her great mind be like, oh, my first date with someone? Hooters. We're going to meet him at a Hooters. <laughs> okay, that would, Nick. That would never happen. It's a joke. Like, I will tell you, though, Hooters is not the first to do this. I've been to several bars. Those signs are in women's restrooms everywhere. Okay, cool. I don't know that. So I don't that's go in women's restrooms, yeah. No, yeah. I know. Well, I mean, you could. They they lifted that law. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> but I will say that um, those are instructions on the back of the restaurant. I mean, um, the restroom stalls in the girls' bathroom. It's like instructions on how to get out of a situation. Shut the fudge up. I never knew that. It's in a lot of bars. I do think it's, um, I'm not saying that this uh, situation isn't something that is, needs to be addressed. It totally does. I just think Hooters, really? <laughs> like I. Just, that is really funny. I, I hadn't just, thought about that. Why would any, like, and it, if your Tinder date wants to take you to Hooters for your first date, keep get swiping. Get out. Get, get out. out. <laughs> Run. I don't care if he has a gift card, even worse. He goes there all the time. You oh, know? Jesus. Oh, there's just no, I can't have it. I can't have it. What's uh, Tom saying anything fun in the comments? No. Oh, he just told you to shut up earlier and I have hot it. It's fine. I oh. will say, I will say the people who really love Hooters. Yeah. I want to talk about that because wing soup is better. Okay, no, I mean, I'm going to get personal here and Pluckers is better, period. Okay, I will agree with that. Pluckers yeah. is better than Hooters. I will no, for agree. sure. What I'm saying is like, but I know I know a group of people who are like, oh, Hooters, well, I go there for the wings. And I'm like, no, you you're don't. a dirty liar because- Yeah, you go there for the areolas. Trash. You go there for the areolas. Yeah, a thousand percent. <laughs> Which you know what? That's fine. I am all for it. If you want, yeah. if you want to work at Hooters and get your nice tips, get it, girl. If you want an OnlyFans and get your nice tips, get it, girl. I'm get all for on. it. No judgment here. Just yeah. don't lie to me and tell me you're going for the wings because that is not the truth. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then it makes me think about like, what else are you lying to me about? I went. Now I will say that I did go on a date with a guy to um, Peaks. But it's gay guys going to Twin Peaks. You know what I mean? We just when was the last time you went to Twin Peaks? Because I tried to take my friend who is a little little cute lesbian for her birthday. And uh, we had a male waiter and a jeans and t-shirt. Oh no, 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 yeah. no. No, yeah, this was uh this was probably this was before I started dating Nick, so probably like seven or eight years ago. Yeah, but, see they're not the same. They're jeans and t-shirts now. No, I and went there. We had a male waiter. waiter. The lady was like really shocked that like we were homos. She was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna make any money now. <laughs> Whatever, I love waiting on gays. Yeah, we're the best. We are, if a gay guy's waiting on you though, he's gonna be sassy. You better be prepared. Oh yeah, buckle up. It's just in the cards. It's in the cards. Yeah, it's in the cards. <laughs> it's in the goddamn cards, I swear to God. Uh, okay, so we have been uh, chit chatting for our normal 30 minutes. I'm so happy I got to talk to you tonight. Like you're my... Perfect. This was good. You're my fave. It was good. Um, once again, if you don't want to watch, don't watch. I love you. I respect you, and I uh, thank you for following our journey. But if, if at all during our journey you get nauseous, bounce out. Bounce out. It's I'm sorry you. we did that to you. We have so much power. Yeah, I know because we're witches. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Here's my are sage. Witches. Twist the bones and bend the back. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> yes okay can you cheers me with your sage with my oh with my sage yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay you sage me All right. one two three yeah can you do it? i love you okay i'm leaving you have a wonderful night i love you bye